Good Tuesday. What are we making today? Oatmeal, salsa, tomato sauce, original taco, blah, 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 blah. I came across this vintage 1946 Pyrex print ad that had a meatless Mexican casserole. And though it intrigued me, we are not following that. This is inspired by that recipe. Because in that old recipe, you have a layer of oatmeal on the bottom with some curry powder, chopped onions, topped with a tomato sauce that you've cooked with green pepper and onion, and topped with cubed cheese. Very, very simple. But I wanted to do something more Mexican than that. But basically, the same idea of having a meatless Mexican casserole. Oatmeal, mixed with taco sauce, onions and green peppers, and some corn, black beans and corn. And we got some Monterey Jack cheese and some cheddar cheese. We're gonna grate some jalapenos, sliced olives. This asks for one pound of ground beef. Because I'm unsure of how much we need for this Pyrex 231, isn't she pretty? $5 thrift shop find. I'm going to make extra oatmeal in our blue cornflour range topper. We haven't used that in a while. And we're going to saute our green pepper and onions in our Corningware P910B. We're going to make the oatmeal and we're going to stick it in the fridge, let it cool down so that we can break it up just like the uh, ground beef they ask for. We're going to weigh it out to a pound. I don't know if that'll be enough for this Pyrex dish. We're going to find out. We're winging it. Let's stop yapping and let's get cooking. Meatless Mexican casserole. You ready? Here we go. Huh. <laughs> Good flavor. Tastes like uh, tastes like taco sauce. It's a little mushy. Let's try a piece with the um, chili and some fresh tomato and lime. 
Here we go. We're going in. You know what? It tastes really good. But the oatmeal is a little mushy. If you can live with the mush, mmm. Well, it's good with the sour cream. I think it just needs more crunch. Like maybe put some tortillas on top. Because it's got good flavor. Let's try it with a crunchy tortilla chip. That might make all the difference. What could you put in here to make it less mushy? Thank you for joining me this Tuesday. Thanks for watching.